What's the word, people? It's your boy, Jamin, the A9 boy, here with Transformers Devastation Review, and I know you're surprised that I'm reviewing it the day it came out. I'll get into that. Insecticons! Plasma energy also detected. It seems our theory may have been correct, Soundwave. But plasma energy is unstable! No Cybertronian has been able to tame it since... since the Golden Age! Then stand back, Starscream, and watch me tame it as I have tamed you. Oh, one of these days, Megatron. Constructor cons. Use the kinetic shields to build me a perimeter. And where will you be, Lord Megatron? We have been given a gift beneath the surface, and I intend to use it. Story. The story of the Transformers Devastations is a pretty simple story. Megatron finds something underground that can be used to re-cyberform Earth in order to rebuild Cybertron, and it's up to Optimus and his squad of Autobots to handle it. It's a pretty simple 90s classic story, and it's pretty good. Gameplay if you play Bayonetta before, you'll be right at home with Transformers Devastation. The game gives you five Autobots characters to play with Optimus, Bumblebee, Sideswipe, Wheeljack, and Grimlock to play with. And each character has their own weapons and skills you can use, and even their own vehicle. The, like, the game lets you transform at will. And yeah. But the meat of this game is these new vehicle techs that they decide to put in. Plus, see, playing them games, if you play Bayonetta, you'd be pretty home, you'd be pretty feel really at home with this game, like I said before. Because they had, they even decided to give this game its own twist of the witch time from Bayonetta, where, like, if you dodge an attack, like, things will slow down and you could beat up your enemy. I found that a nice, cool feature, because, you know, it's pretty satisfying when you dodge an opponent's attack, you get to slow down and beat them up and everything. But, like I said, the vehicle attacks, when you hit somebody, the, the screen will flash blue, and you can press the right bumper, and you'll be able to turn into a, you'll transform and charge into them, and it can continue your combo. I liked it. It was a nice little feature, you know. It actually made the, it made the combos feel stylish and everything. There's uh, you know, you get upgrades and different type of weapons you could do. I mean, the weapons to me, they didn't feel like they did too much damage except for the guns. I mean, but I mean, you mostly won't even be using them because you'd be too busy beating everybody ass with that damn swords and guns and all that. That's it. Dislikes. What kind of fucking Transformer game does not let you play as the Decepticons? That, that right there. That, that's some bullshit. No, I don't like that. that. That's fucked up. Also, if you want to know why I'm reviewing this today, the day the game came out, it's because the story only has seven chapters. Granted, some chapters are longer than the other, but the story altogether is about like two to three hours. I'm like, it's ridiculous that they finally got a good Transformers game out, but they fuck it up by making it so short. Like, what the fuck, Platinum Games? And But my biggest problem ain't even with the game itself. It's the amount of hate this game has been getting. What the fuck? I've seen people hate this game for the simplest thing. People hate this game because they said the graphics are too shiny. What the f What? What kind of stupid shit is that? Do you motherfuckers want any innovation in the type of game at all? I swear, people complain about games being the same thing. There's no new video games being made. Look at this shit right here. This is probably one of the best Transformers games in terms of gameplay, not length. It's one of the best Transformers games out here. It takes skills, stylus, it's a nice challenging, it's fun. There's no co-op to play with each other, but come on, what the hell is wrong with this game community? People said this game is absolutely ass because they're using an the old style Transformer. 
give a fuck? If you don't get your goddamn ass, who gives a fuck if they use the old school Transformers? Who gives a fuck? Isn't the point of playing a video game supposed to be the gameplay that matters, not what the hell the characters look like? I could give two fucks if these characters look like fucking Legos. As long as the gameplay was fucking fun, that's all that I care about. That's just my opinion on what, like, it just don't make no sense. Like, what the hell? How can you hate a game for something as simple as that? I mean... If you don't like the old school Transformers, well, that's just your preference, but because the graphics look too cartoony? Mother... What? Gameplay matters. That's why it's called a game. It's not graphics. I'm gonna put it like this. You judge a video game by its graphics. You ain't a gamer. You're just an observer because you don't play a game for what it's meant to be played for. You play it to look at it. The fuck? Birdie. Now, overall, I really did enjoy this game. It's a shame that I beat it in about three hours. Um, the gameplay was fun, Fast Furious. I wish it had online co-op, and I wish you could play as the Decepticons, but the game, you know, it, it got me through point A to point B. You know, I enjoyed that. I, it, like, I ain't gonna flex. It was a lot of times that I was just sitting in the story mode saying, ooh, kill him, ooh, kill him. So, if I would have to recommend this game, it's a shame, it's a shame that... I can't tell you to get this game at full price because I got this at $50 and I'm a little pissed off that I beat this shit in like three hours and it's, it's just fucked up like come on are you are you serious really really I would have to say wait till this game drop to like $30 or something to pick it up I think that's a more reasonable price for the game rather than paying $50 for a three hour game that has no online multiplayer no uh co-op no you can only play as five characters but uh yeah, that's my review for Transformers Devastation. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Comment what you think about the game. This has been your boy, Jamin A9Boy. I'm out. Peace.